Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rodriguez, I'm from Vin Architecture. Today I want to uh, show you the news about Dynamo. If uh, you know about these uh, updates that recently and comments in the dynamobeam.org. Uh, for example, the, the package manager update, uh, I think it will be uh, a better uh, management element to uh, group in the, the package and share with another uh, sandbox elements uh, in, in a different software like the alias and uh, Revit and Advanced Steel and mm, the same Dynamo Studio. Uh, this is the, a new thing that uh, Autodesk don't show too much information about uh, what is the principal reason that uh, try to update these uh, uh, elements. I think the upgrade is related with the last version like the 1.3 because if you remember uh, we have the uh, manage uh, package with different package between that because uh, dynamo uh, 1.3 and dynamo 0.0 uh, are different environments uh, one is related with python 2.7 and another is related with dynamo 3 3.3.x, for example, no Dynamo 2.0 is uh, the new Dynamo that is uh, using in the, the platforms, and uh, for this thing, uh, it's a per the new release uh, is the Dynamo Sandbox. If you remember, uh, uh, you can use uh, Dynamo in the in in Advanced Steel and Revit in, in Formit, but uh, it will be like the different. Uh, for this release, uh, we can uh, download the the Dynamo Dynamo Sandbox. Uh, we have uh, different options uh, to do that. Uh, I'm not pretty sure what is the principal reason because it's not much information about that. But if you go to dynamobin.org, you can see that. Uh, now we have three different uh, elements that you can download. Uh, for example, if you go to the Get Dynamo, uh, you have the Dynamo and the Autodesk Revit and the Dynamo Studio. I think the Dynamo Sandbox and Dynamo Studio is related. Uh, if you remember the Dynamo uh, Studio, uh, it was an update, the new version, the last version is 2017 i remember and it has the same uh, graphic interface that dynamo 1.3 this is the principal reason i don't know if dynamo studio in a future maybe uh, the software wa uh, will be discontinuing but uh, this is a new uh, information and if you see and maybe this prepare the software up to this in 2020 that with you can use with Dynamo Sandbox uh, from different software like Autodesk Revit, Alias, Advanced Steel, and Formit, and Civil 3D. 3D. Uh, if you remember, you have uh, the Sandbox in Autodesk Revit that you don't need uh, some information uh, to open Revit. If you don't have a license for Revit, it's, you can install the, the Dynamo. Now with this version Dynamo Sandbox, you don't need to use Revit to uh, open Dynamo. Uh, if you see it's the same version, uh, Dynamo 2.0 in the Sandbox in Revit and Dynamo uh, 2.0 in in the Sandbox, uh, the new download that you can uh, obtain. But if you remember, you have uh, before uh, Dynamo Reach that you can uh, send the the scripting in the web, and you can share with your customer, with your partners, and uh, you can modify it pretty easy and some stuff. Uh, 
without using uh, Revit package li or Revit libraries. But now I think a Dynamo Sandbox, it will be related in the future with Dynamo Studio. If I open a Dynamo Studio, uh, you can see that this version uh, have, has the graphic interface, the Dynamo 1.3. If uh, you have, uh, or if you use before Dynamo Reach, uh, you need to know that uh, before uh, using the script, you need to send the link uh, to the to, to the cloud. No, uh, for example, if you, you need to go to the file, uh, and then you have the option to send to what uh, the script. It will be sent to the web, and then you can share. Uh, this script in format or in alias, but I don't know uh, with the uh, closing of this platform, the Dynamo Rich platform, uh, where could be the script that you can put in Dynamo Rich. If you remember, uh, we have another uh, platform that is uh, closest to, uh, for example, Fractal. Fractal a change for refinery. Refinery is in the Dynamo in the sandbox, but I don't know. I, I don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much.